Schools in uh, Bailey Homes Alcon expects a 17 and a half uh, to 22 and a half percent decline in headline earnings per share for the six months to the end of December. Interim results are expected to be released next week Friday. So trading updates from this construction company and no surprise that these numbers are going to again pretty much be in line with what we see in the overall construction space. But Byron, you mentioned that cement sales are 22 percent higher for the month of January. So a little bit of a barometer that could be showing things might just be getting slightly better. Yes and in the update they actually mentioned as well that compared to that that was compared to um, the first six months of the year but compared to the second six months they're actually up six or seven percent so we are seeing a shift and again a lot of the downside is already factored into the share price when you have a look at the valuations they're trading on a PE of less than 10 which is similar to all the construction stocks but when you have a look at Wilson Bailey's uh, margins um, you know they, they're one of the best of the whole industry that's where um, you know the exciting part of this company is for me and of course have been very involved in roadworks as well especially in the Gauteng region uh, so for you Craig looking at Wilson Bailey Homes do you think that it is start is it time now to actually take the construction sector seriously and say well perhaps there is a little bit, a bit of value to be had because we are expecting a slightly better scenario playing out in 2012 is the worst over uh, when look when the market rotates out of retail and other sectors and looks at construction again you don't want to be left behind. Because yeah, but this is what we saw last year, picture. Craig. I think Wilson Bailey Home certainly one of those that um, that would would see the the, the, the the momentum with the movement in the sector. Um, but I read the trading statement a little bit differently because uh, they wrote off on a loan to African Capital Steel of 66 million, and uh, that only came out in the second half, but it related really to. It came out in the full year earnings, but it related to the first half. So they're trading a statement between seven and a half and twelve and a half percent loss. If you take that sixty-six million in terms of what they said in the update of the statement, I think we're actually going to be down about twenty percent on that first half earnings. That's how I interpret it. If you if you factor yeah. that sixty-six million into it, so um, it, it's 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 not um, a, a shock, but I, I, it's not as optimistic as the seven and a half to twelve and a half percent if you read between the lines and. Um, so I think there's still some time, some things need to play out before we can really be certain about a recovery in construction. Okay, but uh, Craig, and I, I said this, I interjected a bit earlier saying that we've actually seen this kind of rotation uh, into uh, uh, construction companies before. We saw this at the beginning of last year. I know a lot of people sat on this desk saying that construction is looking very attractive and we're expecting a bit of a recovery. Is it going to be different in 2012? Well, look, I think in early 2010, I wrote about construction being a value trap, and I think it's remained one for some, for, for some time. But I think we're getting closer to that situation where there is value, because what, I, what I really has to measure is the downside risk of a company. And I was looking quite optimistic about Murray and Roberts' downside potential, but now when you start factoring in rights issues, it changes things, it liquidates the, the, the earnings per share. Um, of course, it does re, re, uh, uh, you know, give some strength to the balance sheet, but um, we may still see some other companies struggling before things recover. We, uh, you know, if there's a rights issue around the corner with the likes of uh, Wilson Valley Home, not that I'm implying that there will be um, by any means, but uh, it, it changes the story quite a bit. Yeah, Bye. yeah I mean, th it's a very competitive sector. So uh, Wilson Bailey probably find themselves on the top end, but we're still going to have some people struggling at the bottom end. You know, what happened was um, there were a lot of uh, guys like Murray and Roberts and um, Avenge who were, were um, finding themselves overseas in the developed markets. And then when the financial crisis happened, they all had to all come back. So the competition was really strong in South Africa, even though the sector didn't fall as much as it did in the developed world. That pushed down margins and uh, it, it became absolutely ruthless. That's why I mentioned Wilson Bailey's margins is a, is a great plus for the company. Mm -hmm. I also like the fact that they situated themselves in Australia. Um, the Australian market is the only developed market in the world that have managed to avoid any type of recession. You know, they really have benefited from the commodities bull run. You know, they've got, um, they've done what Kumba have done uh, 10 times over with their pull bar um, in, 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 in Australia there. So I like the fact that they situate in Australia um, it, with regards to construction of buildings and so on and in the mining. Um, so out of all the, uh, the whole mix, I think Wilson Bailey do look um, a, a attractive. So it's hot for you then, Byron? I wouldn't say hot. Um, like I, I prefer, I prefer PPC, and you know that. Um, uh, w with the cement numbers coming out today, I, I don't like the the 
the risk that comes with the construction uh, companies. Like you've seen with Murray and Roberts, they have specific um, project risk and, and that's a big issue for me. If you want to benefit from the sector, rather go with PPC. They don't have a margins issue. Um, it is competitive, um, but uh, in terms of, of, of risk, I'd much prefer to be in, in a supplier. Yeah. Okay, so for you, Craig, hot or not, Wilson Bailey Homes? Yeah, I, I prefer some of the smaller players where I can understand what the what what's what's on their books, like so seniority or so. So while I like Wilson Bailey Homes, I wouldn't say hot right right now. Uh, what about PPC? What about buyer and spec? Given the fact that um, you know we see we've got problems with PPC when it comes to capacity and capacity utilisation, are you convinced that the cement industry is one of the ways to get exposure to construction? Well, what concerns me is some of the capacity that's coming online in 2013, 2014, when construction is likely to pick up, and that's obviously going to affect uh, PPC in terms of the increased competition. Um, and uh, there's a lot of uh, old technology still in PPC, although they have made a lot of improvements. So, yeah, it, 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 it's probably at value at under 30 rand, but um, it's not not exciting for me in terms of the prospect.